let us formulate one more formula. So that is tan of a by 2. So in order to formulate this tan of a by 2, so, so let us make a plan the before going to formulate this one. So what is the plan means? Here first let us write sin a by 2 value and cos a by 2 value. Okay. Next we have to recall even delta formula that is Heron's formula. So with the help of these three easily we can formulate tan of a by 2 in terms of small a, small b, small c and s that is the semi perimeter. So that means first let us write sin a by 2 formula. What is the sin a by 2? That is s minus b, s minus c by bc or upon bc root over. So what does cos a by 2 stand for? So that is simple way to remember s into s minus a upon bc root over. What does delta stands for? Aaron's formula that is delta is equal to we can write s into s minus a s minus b s minus c root over. So enough. With the help of these three formulae, we can formulate tan of a by 2. So now, we know that, we know that tan of a by 2 with the help of trigonometric identities, the tan of a by 2 can be put in terms of sine and cos. So, tan of a by 2 is nothing but sin of a by 2 upon cos of a by 2. Let the sin of a by 2 and cos of a by 2 both the values we have to replace or substitute. Let us substitute the values of sin a by 2 and cos a by 2. So we get s minus b s minus c upon bc root over upon s into s minus a upon bc root over. Very simple formula we have something for example say this is p this is q root p by root q that can be written root of root over p by q we can write it. So this can be written s minus b s minus c upon bc upon s into s minus a upon bc root over we can write like this bc bc gets cancelled so we have here this is s minus b into s minus c by s into s minus a root over. This is tan of a by 2. The tan of a by 2 we can write in this way and also it is positive being a by 2 lies in the first quadrant as we have discussed in cos a by 2 principle. So that means here we, we can express in terms of delta also. So that means simply you do multiply both numerator and denominator with root of s minus b into s minus c. So what shall we get it? Let us see. Now, so this is one of the formula for this tan a by 2. Multiply both numerator and denominator with with root over s minus b into s minus c. Now this tan a by 2 equals to root over 
एस माइनस बी एस माइनस सी अपॉन एस इन टू एस माइनस ए मल्टीप्लाइड विथ रूट ऑफ एस माइनस बी एस माइनस सी बाई रूट ओवर एस माइनस बी एस माइनस सी जस्ट अब सर नाउ रूट ऑफ एस माइनस बी इंटू एस माइनस सी रूट ऑफ एस माइनस बी इंटू एस माइनस सी दट इट इज अब्यूस दट वी गेट एस माइनस बी टाइम्स एस माइनस सी सो दिस इक्वल टू वी गेट एस माइनस बी टाइम्स एस माइनस सी अपॉन रूट ओवर वी गेट दिस इज एस इन टू एस माइनस ए एस माइनस बी एस माइनस सी यू माइट हैव एक्सपेक्टेड द स्टेप वॉट डज दिस ट्रांसफर यू चेक हियर नथिंग बट डेल्टा नाउ इट इज बींग रिप्लेस बाई डेल्टा वी गेट एस माइनस बी टाइम्स एस माइनस सी अपॉन डेल्टा दिस इज In other words, we can write tan of a by two as s minus b times s minus c by delta. So, in the similar fashion, we can find out tan of b by two and tan of c by two. Okay, let us write all the values of tan of a by two, tan b by two, tan c by two now. tan a by 2 how to remember see first write down s into s minus here write down here s minus b write down s minus c write down so root over or we can write s minus b s minus c upon delta the both the ways we can write now tan b by 2 let us try yourself so before going to watch this one yes you try yourself first so now i am going to write check whether it is correct or not so this we can write upon s into s minus b s minus c s minus a this root over S minus c, S minus c upon S into S minus b. So this can be written: S minus c, S minus a upon delta. Now tan c by two. Try yourself. Tan c by two. Tan c by two equals to upon S into S minus c here. S minus a, S minus b, root over. So this can be remembered: S minus a, S minus b by delta. So in this way, all the values of tan a by two, tan b by two, tan c by two, we can remember. It's very, very important.